Were you expecting to enjoy a cheeseburger in peace? Forget about it if you have an adorable pup at home. Think about that cute and innocent look your furry friend gives you while you eat. What should you do? Is it okay to let your dog eat human food? In today's video, we'll explore the various human foods your dog can eat safely. Why does peanut butter top our list? Are fruits like pineapples and blueberries safe? We'll be talking about all of this and more, so stick around. Good news, peanut butter is great for your pup. Dogs love eating cake, but feeding them cake made for humans isn't a wise choice. So substitute this sweet for peanut butter. Even though consuming peanut butter is safe for your dog, you should limit how much they consume. Since peanut butter is packed with fat and calories, too much can make your dog gain weight. Choose the unsalted, natural variety if you're giving your dog peanut butter. Salt can be harmful to your dog. It can cause vomiting, diarrhea, muscle tremors, incoordination, and seizures. Always provide your dog with easy access to clean drinking water to prevent salt toxicity. Unsalted peanut butter, in moderation, is a great treat that can be used as a positive reward for your pup's good behavior. Now, what about fruits? Is it okay to give blueberries to your dog? Blueberry smoothies are simply delicious. Maybe you'll want to let your dog take a sip, but should you? Blueberries are considered superfruits for humans, as they're low in calories and high in nutrients. They're delicious, convenient, and equally good for your dog. Blueberries score high in antioxidant properties. Your dog needs to have antioxidants in its diet to protect from inflammation. Chronic inflammation can lead to many health issues like cancer and diabetes. Antioxidants also protect your dog's brain and nervous system. In fact, many premium dog foods available in the market contain blueberries as one of their ingredients. If your dog is predisposed to genetic health issues like neurodegenerative disorders, you must consider adding this antioxidant-rich fruit to their diet. But maybe your dog doesn't like blueberries. No worries, we have another delicious fruit for your fur baby. Time for some pineapple treats. Pineapple is another fruit that can be good for both humans and dogs. The fruit is packed with vitamins and minerals, making it a nutrient-dense snack for your dog, and it also contains good amounts of fiber. Still in doubt? Well, consider this. Pineapples are rich in manganese, a vital mineral for your dog. It promotes joint health, development, and healthy bodily functions. Another vital nutrient your dog gets from eating pineapples is vitamin C. Vitamin C boosts your pet's immunity and keeps them infection and inflammation free. Your adorable pup would also get a good amount of choline from pineapples. This nutrient is important for the healthy functioning of memory and muscles. It's wise to give only small amounts of this tropical fruit to your pet. If you feed them too much, your dog might end up with digestive issues, such as nausea and diarrhea. When that happens, take your dog to the vet as soon as you can. If pineapples don't excite your dog, try apples instead. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but what about the vet? Well, it turns out it does. Apples make for a delicious and healthy treat for dogs. This crunchy fruit is chock full of fiber and essential nutrients like vitamin A and C, potassium, and antioxidants. We just told you how great antioxidants and vitamin C are for your fur baby's health. The generous amount of apple fiber, especially in the skin, can also boost your dog's digestion. This low-calorie, high-fiber snack is an excellent choice for dogs struggling with weight issues. Here's a tip. Remember not to feed an entire apple in one go. It'll likely be too much for your dog. Instead, cut the fruit into small slices and give it to your dog. Do not forget to remove the seeds as they contain a dangerous chemical called cyanide. If your dog happens to eat apple seeds in substantial amounts, it can lead to cyanide poisoning. Cyanide poisoning can be fatal as it causes hypoxia or lack of oxygen delivery to the body. Moving on, it's time we talk about bread. Bread is one of the staple foods in most cultures around the world. If you want to break bread with your dog, you can do so as long as it's plain white bread or whole grain. Even then, it should only be given as a treat now and then. 
Your bread should be plain, without any additions such as raisins. These can turn out to be harmful for your dog. You should also avoid giving too much bread to your dog as the extra calories can make your furry friend gain weight. And let me tell you, dogs can become obese from eating excess calories, just like humans. Obesity in dogs puts a strain on their heart. So keep your dog on a healthy diet and regular exercise schedule to keep that little heart beating comfortably. We discussed treats like peanut butter and a few delicious fruits as well. But what about veggies? Most dogs love green peas. Fortunately, this veggie is healthy and safe for your dog. Unless, of course, they're allergic to peas. We recommend feeding a minimal amount first and keeping an eye on your dog to rule out any intolerance or allergy. You'll find green peas are a regular ingredient in most commercially available dog foods. Dogs find them tasty and will eat food mixed with green peas with much more excitement. Green peas are healthy for your dog as they're packed with nutrients and are low in calories. Avoid feeding your pup canned peas as they contain a good amount of salt. Always opt for frozen or fresh peas. You can slowly introduce broccoli into your dog's diet. Not all humans like broccoli, but it seems almost all of our furry friends do. Broccoli is a low-calorie vegetable packed with many important nutrients like potassium, vitamin C and K, and antioxidants. These nutrients together work wonders for your dog's heart health, immunity, and bone density. Feeding broccoli in moderation to your four-legged friend will help its body fight off infections better. Although this cruciferous veggie is low in carbs and sugar, it doesn't mean you should feed a full floret to your dog. Broccoli has trace amounts of a compound called isothiocyanates, which can cause digestive problems if your dog overeats it. You can give your dog either raw broccoli or cooked, but it should only be given as a treat and very rarely. Dogs can be the worst offender in giving you pungent puppy farts, and nobody wants to end up with a dog breaking wind all the time. Carrots are an excellent choice. It's not just Bugs Bunny that likes carrots. Your dog would love to eat this vegetable too. You can give both raw and cooked carrots to your canine friend. Most nutritionists tell you how incredibly healthy carrots are for humans. From high amounts of vitamin A to health-boosting antioxidants, carrots are a wonderful addition to your dog's daily diet. When feeding your dog carrots, make sure that you're cutting the carrots into small pieces so that your dog doesn't choke while eating. Let's move towards the most exciting part of our list. Dogs love eating meat. But what kind? Pork is pup approved. Your dog would enjoy eating most meat-based foods, so it's no surprise that pork is one of the foods that they would enjoy. But you should ensure the pork portions you give them are without spices or seasonings. Make sure you cook the pork properly. Raw or undercooked pork can end up causing bacterial infections in your dog. You should also avoid giving your dog processed pork. This means you should avoid feeding them any bacon or ham because they're usually high in salt. You'll be surprised to know how healthy shrimp is for your dog. Shrimp works as a healthy treat for your four-legged pal. They're a great source of protein and are also rich in essential vitamins and minerals. Remember, never give your dog raw shrimp. Raw shrimp contains bacteria that can make your dog sick. You should always cook it without any additional ingredients or seasoning and remove the shell. Yes, pork and shrimp are excellent sources of protein for your dog. But there's one more protein-rich snack that you should be giving your pup. Eggs are excellent. Eggs are a great addition to your dog's diet to boost its protein intake. Although dogs aren't obligate carnivores, they need essential amino acids found in protein to thrive. The good thing about eggs is that they aren't just protein rich. This superfood also offers many other nutrients like choline, fatty acids, and vitamins. They're an excellent source of iron, folate, and selenium, all of which support your dog's health inside and out. But before you consider adding eggs to your dog's diet, you must know that if your dog consumes raw eggs, it will get food poisoning due to salmonella. One medium-sized boiled egg has all the vitamins and minerals your dog might need, and some people even claim that eggs can help cure symptoms of nausea in dogs. Mushrooms are also a great addition to your dog's diet. If you want to give your dog mushrooms, always feed them store-bought variety like portobello mushrooms. 
you should make sure there are no additional ingredients or spices in the mushroom. If you're out on a walk with your dog and spot mushrooms, don't let your furry friend get close. Wild mushrooms can be toxic for your dog as they can cause food poisoning. Can rice be part of your dog's daily diet? Rice is another staple food that's common to many cultures around the world. You can give your dog plain or cooked rice. Both the brown and white varieties are a safe bet. You'll be surprised to know how helpful this simple food can be for your dog. Although rice is a carbohydrate and some don't consider it nutritious, it does provide benefits for your fur baby. First and foremost, rice is low in sodium and fat. Antioxidants found in rice can protect against disease and cognitive dysfunction that comes with aging. Your dog would also get a generous amount of vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus from rice. The probiotic effect from rice increases the population of good bacteria in your dog's gut. This makes rice an excellent food for your pooch when it's struggling with gastrointestinal upset. It's easy for your dog to digest rice and will help relieve the symptoms. Last on our list is popcorn. Who doesn't love a bowl of popcorn while they're watching a movie? But sometimes popcorn can fall onto the floor or on our lap while we're eating, and our beloved pets get to it before we get the chance to clean it up. But don't be alarmed. Popcorn is actually a great treat for your furry friend. Unless the popcorn is topped with butter or salt, any added seasonings or butter can be harmful and increases the snack's calorie count. If your dog eats too much popcorn with those ingredients, it'll gain weight rapidly. You should also be aware that popcorn kernels can be a choking hazard for your dog, so be extra mindful. Pet parenting is challenging if you don't have access to reliable information. Were you interested in knowing more about your dog health and behavior? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more dog-friendly videos, shall we? Check out 9 Foods That'll Kill Your Dog or 6 Things You Didn't Realize Are Killing Your Dog. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about your furry friend. Do you feed any of these human foods to your dog? Let us know in the comments below.